Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. In today's team breakdown, we're gonna do the uh, we're jump on to the Chicago Bears a little bit. Um, I like them on the beta. Let's just talk about that first. On the beta, they they have some pieces. I mean, if you know you end up picking last, or, or you know you one of those guys, you you got to pick somewhere in the, the middle middle of the pack. You know, when the team selection thing happens, uh, it's not a bad place to start. And Justin Fields is not as bad as as you would. I mean, what people would want to make him out to be like that's in, I feel like that in real life, honestly. But um, having a having a mobile quarterback on this game is an advantage on Madden 24, period, point blank. It is just an advantage uh, that if you have it, you, you will you know, if you know what you're doing, you will reap the benefits. All right, so let's get into this gameplay a little bit. As y'all see, I came out, uh, drove down, got into the end zone. Uh, it wasn't that, I mean, you know, good drive. I mean, you know, the typical Madden stuff happens, a couple of drop passes. Felt like I was playing good defense right here, and then, yeah, that happened. So uh, I actually, I thought he was going to the other guy who cut in front. And it's just crazy the guy behind him caught it, which I totally felt like shouldn't happen. So got the ball back, came back out. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was Madden time. And so, you know, once those th once those things start to happen to you, you just gotta settle down, run the ball, make just make the simple play. Try to make your offense as simple as humanly possible. Curls, outs, zigs, stop stop routes you know all that kind of stuff just to make it nice and simple so all right was able to get back into the end zone again and then he just comes out and i mean he is making it no secret and and he is just throwing that thing up for grabs over there and so you know like i said i think I, i'm playing good defense I, i'm playing good defense and then he tests the bishop eddie jackson and if you know the good bishop eddie jackson you know the collection plate is being passed around Absolutely. Every time Eddie Jackson touched that thing, man, you know, hey, your tithing offerings. Yeah, we, we taking them all. But all right, so jumped up 21-7. And at this point, now I'm I'm you know, I'm not confident because I know how Madden works. I know what Madden give it, it take it the way. So I already know this is gonna be a weak defensive drive in terms of just trying to make plays. So what we're trying to do here is basically I'm just trying to bait him into a mistake of some sort. I'm just trying to play good, safe defenses. Um, um, my uh, yardage adjustments, I'm playing more toward on the deeper side of this stuff. And so I'm just just trying not to give it away. I man this, this corner right up. And look at the guy who's guarding him. He just, I, I don't know what in the world happened right there. He just decided to just jog in the middle of the field right there, caught me. And so I just... Anytime somebody catches me on alignment, what I do is I just kind of mush rush. I'm going to stand right there and just hope the coverage can hold up. And then just hopefully, you know, somebody will break free and, and maybe get to the quarterback, make him rush a throw. Caught me right there on that, uh, on the angle route. I was, I'm not going to say I knew it was coming, but I, I, I kind of suspected something was coming to the running back. I think I, I overcommitted a little bit to the, to the left side of the defense. And so he was able to catch me coming back around. Uh, and right now the line is starting to break down. And so, again, I tell you guys, no emotional uh, calls right there. I punted the ball. He ended up getting down to like two-yard line, but then he made a mistake. 53 catches it. Uh, I caught him in the flats and, yeah, just, just didn't have enough gas to get to the end zone and into the half. So come back out, and I'm still up. And then he comes back out, catches me with a nice little uh, skinny post uh, right there in the middle before my safety. They clicked me to the back guy, which I hated, you know, but 
you know, neither here nor there, no harm, no foul. So he took a shot to the end zone, had a shot, couldn't get his feet down, caught me right there in the seam. I actually had that guy manned up, and I thought that was good defense. It was just a better throw. I mean, he stopped him right on the dime, turned around, caught it, got himself into the end zone. So, again, this is Madden. So now it's 21 up and 21 all, and I cannot run the ball right now, not – with any consistency and it feels like he's stopping me from running the ball with just like two guys up front and it's like my guys won't block my guys are doing a better job of tackling me than they are all right so get back to the pass a little bit i had to loosen him up in the flats and so i was able to catch him with a nice little combination uh like an angle route from the tight end coming across the middle and then of course i get greedy as i often do tried to hit him with on the back side the post he I'm not going to say he baited me because he clicked to the guy. He clicked to uh, Douglas to make the, the pick. It was a good click on and good play. I'm not going to say I got baited, but it was it was a very good play. All right, so got down to fourth and one, and you can tell when a person thinks they can't stop you, they're going to, you know, they're going to go for it. And so I see him motion the tight end. I pull my pull the, the uh, play art up so that I can see who I'm guarding. I see that I have the tight end. So I took a chance right then and, and squatted. Now, did you notice that they made my user stop running? Like, I, that wasn't me just stopping. No, they made him stop. All right, so we get back to this point again. Now it's 21 all. Uh, we're still at 21 all. And so now I'm like, all right, everything safe, everything cool. Ugh, man, come on, dude. Catch the ball. Was that Velvis Jones? <laughs> That's one of my favorite names in the world. Velvis Jones. That's a hey, man. That is that is a classic name. All right, but anyway, so got Pringle right there on the curl route, and so right now I'm already man. I'm I'm I want the field goal. Yeah, I, I, I'm not one of those pride people. I'm gonna get take these three and get up out of here. Uh, pressure kick. They would not let me call my timeout. You know, and it was it was crazy. So I had to go ahead and kick it with the pressure kick because they wouldn't let me call the timeout anyway. I was trying to run another play, but uh, no. Yeah, got me to the fourth. But, you know, we knocked that thing, man. Ain't no problems. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you can't play under pressure, man, you just can't play at all. All right, so, he, you know, he got a chance. So, we come out in prevent defense. I ain't sure. We are not trying anything fancy. If he's going to beat it, he's going to beat it. And so, we just... I just dropped the safeties back. And, and, yeah, let's just try to get up out of here. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bears not bad. Um, they have a formation though on on the beta. It's called wing tight nasty. Trust me, that if if there is such a thing as a meta, <laughs> it's gonna be one. I guarantee you, you are gonna see a lot of that. You're gonna see a lot of it from me. Cause boy, I, I hey man, that is a nice formation. Wing tight nasty in the out of Chicago playbook. Yep, it is. It is something else. But, yeah, so I, me and uh, one of my partners are having a conversation uh, this afternoon, as a matter of fact. And and we were talking about, like, just the game and, and how the game has, you know, it's evolving and whatnot. And so he brought up a great point. And he said, like, the best years of Madden, in his opinion, were the years that you could just pick up anybody. You know what I'm saying? You could pick up any team and you could compete with that team. And, and I fully agree. And, and folks at EA, if y'all, I mean, with all this this crazy knockout stuff, we don't need, we don't want a game that's that's trying to keep us even. No, man, let the people who don't get beat, let them get beat and learn. You know, better get on these mechanics. And get to that mechanics Bible that's coming out on August 16th. Coach DC 404. Ooh, man. It was a critical pick. I think I'm going to do this gameplay tomorrow, too. Um... <clears throat> This was a good game. This guy actually, he, he could he could really play. It was Texans, and uh, I had the Texans. He had the uh, Chargers. Man, it was it was a good, 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 good game. I think I, ain't, yeah, I, ain't, I don't get into all that stuff. I'm telling y'all who what people are ranked. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Anyway, man, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. It is your boy, Coach DC Four Four.